I'm Ryota Tanaka, a perpetual loner. I finished my lunch as fast as always and tucked myself away in a corner of the classroom to play games on my smartphone. This guy is a tough one. Locked in a battle to the death with an AI opponent, the time passed quickly. Lunch break should be ending soon. I'm back! Welcome back, Mayu! Practicing even during lunch break. Isn't the soccer club working too hard? Not really. Everyone's super motivated. So much so that it's contagious. Mori's is a B as always. Lunch break should be ending soon. Mayu Mori is a bright and cheerful person, and a real beauty to boot. She's popular with everyone. She's famous for being the gorgeous female manager of the soccer club. Well, not like soccer has anything to do with me. But when you guys had that full day soccer practice last Sunday, making rice balls for everyone must have been a real chore. Whoa, how many did you make? Around 100. Isn't that too much? You only have 11 members, right? An extrovert like Mori and an introvert like me are polar opposites. We should have never had a chance to cross each other's lives. Ryota, classes in the afternoon are such a drag, right? We're not even that close. Why is she speaking so casually to me? Mori's seat is just behind me. Maybe because of that, she likes to randomly chat with me. It is, but if you just stay seated, it'll end eventually. It's a breeze when you think about it that It's a breeze when you think about it like that. Oh, what game are you playing? Wait, why do you care? Come on, you don't have to hide it. It's not like I hate Mori, but there are those who won't look too kindly on such a popular figure talking to a loner like me. I can feel the guys in the class staring. I refuse to get pulled into anything troublesome. Oh, the teacher's here. Thank goodness. I no longer feel the pressure of those jealous stares on me. Oh, right, Ryota. Do you have any interest in the soccer club? Huh? Why are you trying to recruit an introverted loner like me? I have a feeling that you'll definitely help to make the team stronger. I'm sorry, but that's just wrong. I hate exercising. <laughs> Choose someone else. What an odd invitation. I wonder what she was thinking. If she thought except because it came from a beauty like her, she's dead wrong. I'm only passing by the school field because it's on the way home. Even so, our soccer club is really enthusiastic. They're all puny and they only have the minimum number of players. The team is made up of mostly first years and the up The team is made of the team is made up of mostly first years and the only upperclassmen and the only upperclassman they have is a single sophomore. I heard that they barely managed to avoid being dissolved this year because they didn't have enough members. Even just watching them practice, they play with enough zeal that they look like they're aiming for the Nationals. Oh, Ryota! I was spotted by the most troublesome person of all. You came! No, I was only passing by. Great. For now, just get in here. You're not listening. Thanks for coming! I end up giving in to her. From your point of view, how do you think the team is doing? How they're doing? I mean, even though it should be tiring as heck, they look like they're having a lot of fun in practice. They practice all morning, afternoon, and evening. What they're doing is what they're doing isn't exactly easy either. But they look like they find so much joy in it. Yeah, that's right. So you should join us. And how did you come up and how did you come to that conclusion? Complaints? Let's do it this way then. What if you just stand at the side and observe? As long as you agree to join us, I'll let you sit out the practices whenever you want. How's that? Faced with her relentless invitations to join the club, I was more confused than anything. In short, she doesn't care who it is. She's just trying to ensure the number of club members from falling below the required number. That's exactly 11 club members right now. If even one of them gets hurt or withdraws due to injury in the middle of a match, they'll no longer be eligible to compete. With how hard they're practicing, it would just be a waste of their efforts if something like that happened. I guess since I have nothing to do at home anyway, if it's just observing from if it's just observing them from the side. The next day. Everyone, this is my classmate Ryota Tanaka. He'll be joining the practices from now on. I ended up agreeing I ended up agreeing on the spur of the moment, joining the practices. Of course it made that face. After all, having a random, unfit-looking stranger join suddenly, you must feel like I'd get in the way. I see! It's nice to meet you, Tanaka! I'm Kenichi Kubo, the captain of the team! Kubo's the only sophomore in the club. He's great at taking care of everyone, so you can go to him if you have any problems. Now that I think of it, do you have a coach? Nope. 
The club advisor let us use his name as a stand-in. You know, the one who teaches classical literature. Oh, that old relic. We decide a training regimen amongst ourselves, and I arrange and schedule all the practice matches. Of course, but you won't be able to resist the call of the soccer field forever. She's pretty pushy, but I guess it's a perk of the job that I get to hang out with her. All the guys at school have a thing for Mori. I'm no exception. Ryota, thanks for agreeing to join the club. I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm just coming to watch the practices like what you told me. And also, I never said I was joining the club. But when I see all the club members are excitedly going around telling people we got a new member, it kind of feels like we've already moved past that. I see, so that's why. The reason they're happy to push themselves so hard is because everything here is done on a voluntary basis. We're gonna work hard and take over the Nationals! I don't want to burst a bubble, but the National Championship isn't as easy as she seems to think. In the second half of the practice, the members split up into two teams. It's pretty hard to divide themselves like that with 11 people. I know, right? If you join in, we'll finally be able to get that even split. Damn it, I shouldn't have run my mouth. Hey, Tanaka, join us! Let's play together! See? Kubo's calling you over, too. Ugh, that's how they planned this beforehand. But I'm wearing sneakers today. That's totally fine. Those are Samba shoes, aren't they? They're shoes meant for playing soccer anyway, so it's completely okay. It'll still hurt if I get stepped on by their cleats. I've been to Mori's will again. I guess there's no choice. Let's just do what I can for now. Tanaka, the ball's on the move! From the look of it, Kubo seems pretty good at this. With his help, I'll make do somehow. After that, every time the ball rolled under my feet, I immediately passed it to any teammates that were close by. I don't want to do any dribbling. In the end, my team won the game. Of course, it was mostly due to the most capable person in the team, Kubo. Tanaka, nice goal today! <laughs> not at all, I just kept the ball every time it came near me. That's not true! Your passes were super precise, Ryota! If we had just one more person that could pass like that on the team, our chances of winning would go up significantly. That's right! If you join us, we'll be harder to beat than ever before! Even if you praise me like that, I still have no intention of joining the club officially. If you're worried about the cost of soccer cleats, that's what the club funds are for. Yeah, you could use my spare pair too! I'll feed her about the same size, right? Yeah, I'm trapped between two extroverts. But with this, I can see a real possibility of getting through the first match of the prefectural tournament. We've never had the experience of winning the first round before. We'll be the ones that bring that dishonorable record to an end. Well then, I'm going this way. Tanaka, make sure to send Mori home safely. And now there's just one extrovert left, but... Kubo, that jerk, telling me to send her home. He's making it sound like we're dating or something. Ryota... What's up? Are you really not going to join the club? You look like you were having so much fun on the field. A lot more fun than you seem to have in class, at least. That's just your imagination. But I guess I don't hate playing with them. That still doesn't mean I'll decide to join. You say that now. But just wait until you go to bed today. You'll be filled with such a sense of accomplishment that your final thought before sleeping will be, let's join the practice tomorrow, too. No way. If anything, it'll be today was exhausting. However, at bedtime. Seriously? This pleasant drowsiness. I've never felt anything like it before. Maybe it's because I finally did some exercise for the first time in forever. Damn it, Maury! Don't think that I'll admit defeat because of this. End up coming today, too. Despite the fact that I never submitted an official club application, I've been playing in all the practice matches for one week. I got to know the club members better as well. This team currently has zero achievements and not many players. But even without Kubo, there's other members that have lots of potential. They're all freshmen, they still have a long way to go in terms of technique. But with how much they practice, it won't stay that way for long. Most importantly, they're all optimistic and genuinely good people. Ryota, good work today. Oh, thanks. <laughs> what? You look like you're enjoying yourself more than usual today. Isn't it about time? Just admit it and say, I want to play soccer. Don't speak for me, it's not like that. I just feel more refreshed because of the regular exercise I'm getting now. Hey, Tanaka! Here, the clean I was talking about. I'll have you know they're a new product that came out not long ago. Oh, thank you. Hmm? You're not trying them on? 
I mean, if I put them on, I really have no choice but to... I mean, if I put them on, I really have no choice but to join the club. Are you still on about that? Ask anyone here, you're already one of us. You're practically a regular club member at this point. Kubo. I'm honestly happy that they think that about me, but... After returning home, I searched for the storeroom. Found it. My MVP medal. I'm not a beginner in soccer that doesn't even own a pair of cleats. In my third year of middle school, my team won the national championship and I was their MVP. But things took a turn for the worst. Ryota! You know I haven't gotten over her yet! How could you?! No, I didn't... I was blamed by all my teammates over this misunderstanding. None of them listened when I tried to explain. That team was strong, but that was all it was. All the members were selfish and unruly. It stuck out like a sore thumb, and the only way I got them to give me the time of day was with my soccer skills. After enduring all those difficult practices and winning the championship together, I thought that there'd be more camaraderie between us. When I realized that outside of anything related to soccer, they didn't trust me very much at all. I was shocked. And I'm scared that history will repeat itself. And that's why I attempted to give up soccer in high school. Ryota, about tomorrow. Oh, there's something going on? Right. Sorry, but I'm not going to play in the match. Huh? Why? I'm an official member, after all. It would be pretty shameless for this guy who just popped out of nowhere to take a spot in an official match. Why are you acting up today? I wouldn't call it acting up. You're one of our precious teammates. Let's go for the victory together. We need you. That's all I'm gonna say. There's no practice today, so just focus on preparing for tomorrow. I'll be waiting for you. Don't forget your cleats. Maury, it's not like I'm okay with the way I am right now either. Maybe all along I've just been searching for an opportunity to change. On the day of the match, we were paired against a consistently strong powerhouse team. Our team was at a clear disadvantage. You can do it! You can do it! The only one who's on par with the opponent's skills is Kubo. Mori, she truly believes he'll be able to win. With a little luck, they're able to hold their own in the first half by focusing on defense. But immediately after the start of the second half... Kubo! Not good. That's possibly a major injury. They were guarding Kubo more fiercely than the others, so I thought something like this might happen, but... Are you okay, Kubo? I'm okay. At least that's what I want to say. But it's not good. Not on this leg. He's usually so bright and cheerful. Seeing that, seeing that expression on his face, that's how seriously he's treating the tournament. He really wants to win. Sorry. I want to continue playing until my leg falls off. But it hurts so much that so my head's pounding. Don't be. You did your best, Kubo. Sorry to you too, Tanaka. I didn't want to appear so weak in front of my junior. <laughs> the thing is, we actually wanted to get you the win as a present. Ryota! Ryota, don't you have to warm up first? It's fine, I'm It's fine. I'm plenty warmed up already. Ever since that time, I've been lengthening my warm-ups in preparation for a day like this. I subbed in for Kuba, who'd withdrawn due to his injury. Entering the field as a left winger. That's the position I've always played, and the dribble is my greatest weapon. Oh! But who's this guy? Damn it! Two people isn't enough to keep him in check! We're done if this continues, and put one more person on him! The fact that I had three people guarding me gave my teammates more chances to score. Yes! Teammate passed two scored a goal, and we managed to take the lead successfully. Most best, you're not good! I didn't mess up my hair. The dead guys. I couldn't tell because of the bags. That's totally the middle school champion MVP, Tanaka. Sheen, why is Tanaka playing for that tiny no-name team? Maybe because they're intimidated by my presence, it suddenly messed up their defense. Taking advantage of the gaps in their formation, we scored two goals in a row, widening our lead even further. We won! Oh, Tanaka, we did it! After the match, we're back at school. All that's left is to head home. Oh yeah, I should stop by the club room and leave my cleats there. They'd already, they'd already given me a locker in the club room a little while ago. Huh? There's someone inside. <laughs> we did it! 
Mori, how long are you gonna keep crying? Ryota? Jeez, don't scare me like that. Sorry, I didn't mean to make fun of you. This is a result of all your hard work, after all. I get why you're so emotional. No, that's not it. Well, not all of it. I'm happy you're back to playing just like before. Like before? The truth is, I know how amazing... The truth is, I know how amazing you were in middle school. Oh, I see. So this was why she invited random introverted classmates to join the soccer club. Even going so far as to tell me that I could just stand at the side and watch. Everything makes sense now. Thank you. Without your invitation, I'd have never gone over what happened. You're a really important person to me, Mori. Uh, um, Ryota. I've always liked you a lot, Ryota. Huh? Because of that, I wanted to help you find your passion for soccer again. So please go out with me. What should I do? What should I do? I'm really happy she feels this way. But she's a club manager. I'm sure there's other members that have a crush on her. I can't do this behind their backs. I've seen what this kind of thing can do to a team. At that moment... Sorry, but we heard everything. Kubo? And everyone else is here too. Now, I don't think you'd be having this conversation in the club room. I didn't think you'd be having this conversation in the club room. You never thought that we would stop by? Don't just go into your own lovey-dovey world. Well, whatever. It's my bad for interrupting you. As an apology, I'll gracefully allow you two to date. Huh? But... I know what you're worried about. If you just look at Mori's face during practice, it's totally obvious that she has a crush on you. Right, guys? At his worst, all of our club members nodded with knowing looks on their faces. Come on, Tanaka, what's your answer? Do what you did during the match and just go for it. Now that it's come to this, I know what I'm going to tell her. Mori, it's thanks to you that I was able to pick myself up. So... I'd like you to go out with me, too. Ryota, of course I will. And so we became a couple with the assistance of the team. In the end, fate decided that we'd make it all the way to the final goal. But that's another story. <laughs>